Now that we understand the features and benefits of Studex Universal System, let's preview the six simple steps to successful ear piercing. Prepare, cleanse, mark, load, pierce and aftercare. At the completion of these chapters, you will be well on your way to performing your first ear piercing service. Next, you will discover the unique needs when piercing children of all ages. And finally, we will answer frequently asked questions about ear piercing. At the conclusion of this instructional video, you will have the skill and confidence to perform your very first ear piercing service. Properly greeting and preparing with the customer is essential for successful ear piercing. First, introduce yourself and welcome them to your business. When seating your customer, be sure to seat them in a position and location that is comfortable and safe for ear piercing. Present your selection of piercing studs with either the Studex Universal System catalogue or any of the Studex Universal collection displays. Once your customer has selected the piercing studs, arrange on a clean surface the Studex Universal Instrument, Piercing Studs, Studex Sterile Skin Cleansing Pad, Studex Non-Toxic Marking Pen and Handheld Mirror. Now that your piercing system setup is completed, it's time to review the ear piercing release and aftercare procedure form. Read carefully along with your customer so that he or she fully understands the service about to be performed. Have the customer sign and date both the release portion and aftercare portion of the form and set it aside. You will review the aftercare portion of the form after the piercing service is completed. It is now time to cleanse the ears for piercing. First, use an alcohol-based waterless hand sanitizer to properly clean your hands. If you notice visible loose debris or dirt on your hands, it is recommended that you wash with soap and water first and then use the hand sanitizer. Always put on your latex examination gloves immediately after cleaning your hands. Gently inspect both ears for any cysts or keloids that would prevent safe ear piercing. If you find anything that looks unsafe for piercing, kindly inform the customer and suggest that they see their physician before they have their ears pierced. Now, using the Studex Sterile Skin Cleansing Pad, gently clean the front and back of both ears where the piercing will be placed. If you do not have Studex Sterile Cleansing Pads, use rubbing alcohol and saturate a clean cotton wipe or swab. Once both ears have been cleaned, inspected and deemed safe for piercing, it's time to mark where the ear piercings will be placed. Have the customer move and secure their hair up and away from the ears. With the customer facing you directly, carefully examine where the piercings will be placed on each ear. Avoid touching the ears while marking them. If you have to touch or hold the ear to mark properly, you must remove and dispose of your latex gloves and re-glove with a new pair before you proceed with piercing. Using the Studex non-toxic marking pen, mark the first ear. Every ear is not the same. For level placement on each ear, use the nose and mouth on your customer's face as a reference for alignment, then mark the other ear. Once both ears are marked, hand the customer the handheld mirror so that they can confirm that each mark is correct and acknowledge that it is okay to proceed with the ear piercing. Leave the handheld mirror in the hands of the customer for the remainder of the piercing service. Now that you have marked the ears, you can proceed with loading the piercing studs into the Studex Universal Instrument. Take the sterilised studs selected and identify the colour-coded mount. Maxi, beige, regular, white and mini, pink. Match the stud mount colour to choose the correct adapter. Note, black colour mounts are exclusive to all cubic zirconia styles. You must determine if the cubic zirconia stud is maxi, regular or mini to determine the correct adapter. After properly wiping the Studex Universal System instrument, pull back the instrument plunger until you hear a click. Take the selected stud adapter and insert it into the barrel end of the plunger. Release the plunger and remove the adapter clip. Now pull the plunger once again to cock the instrument, 
then set it down on a clean surface. Take the sterilised stud mount package and carefully peel back the protective backing. Remove the colour-coded stud mount from the package. While holding the instrument in one hand and the stud mount in the other, position the clasp into the clasp spring, then gently insert the stud into the stud holder. You are now ready to pierce. Carefully position the ear between the stud point and clasp. Align the point of the stud with the mark on the ear by holding the instrument perpendicular to the ear. Once you are properly aligned, gently pull on the trigger, releasing the plunger. The stud and clasp will automatically engage, leaving perfect spacing through the ear. Release the instrument by moving it straight down away from the ear. Be sure to wipe the instrument again before you proceed with piercing the second ear. Once you have completed both ear piercings, dispose of the empty mount and sterile package. Congratulations! You have successfully completed your first ear piercing. Take the signed release and aftercare form and review the aftercare steps necessary for proper healing. Remove it from the release portion and give both the aftercare instructions and the Studex after piercing lotion to the customer. Take the Studex after piercing lotion and saturate a cotton pad or swab. Gently clean around the piercing, making sure to soak the area liberally. Gently rotate the piercing stud or hoop 180 degrees in either direction, as well as back and forth after every cleaning. Customers must not remove the piercing studs for the duration of the healing process. Explain to the customer that they will need to repeat this procedure at home at least once a day for a minimum of six weeks for optimum healing. Proper aftercare is essential to the healing of newly pierced ears. Be sure that customers leave with Studex after piercing lotion. More frequent cleaning is necessary after daily physical activity, daily physical activity, daily physical activity. Hair styling products like hairspray can cause irritation. Be sure to recommend cleaning after excessive use of these types of products every day. Remind them to be careful when putting on or removing clothing so as not to snag the ear piercing stud. They should avoid touching the new piercing whenever possible. After the six week healing period, recommend that customers use only 100% hypoallergenic fashion earrings such as Studex Sensitive Fashion Collection or Studex Select for sensitive ears. Both are created from surgical stainless steel plated with 24 karat gold and are specially made for sensitive ears. Customers must also understand that it can take as long as nine months for a newly pierced ear to become permanent. 